So my name is Paola Agostini. I work for the World Bank and I'm the coordinator in Africa of three programs that all together really constitute the landscape. I work uh, on sustainable land management as a coordinator of Terra Africa. I work on uh, uh, the forest agenda. I'm the coordinator of the RED program. And uh, I work on the biodiversity agenda and uh, I'm the coordinator of the GF program in Africa. And there is no better place than this one to really bring uh, the three of them together as a mosaic in uh, the landscape forum. So I'm really very happy to be here and I, I'm in heaven to see how you can really have one single place where everybody thinks alike and consider landscape and the multiple benefits of landscapes. I'm uh, just really impressed by the participation of, uh, of that I see at these global forums and by the uptake of the concept at the, at the country level side. We had yesterday a today's meeting of Terra Africa uh, with um, uh, about 24 countries coming from Africa and uh, they all agreed and they all uh, uh, had a lot of demand coming from the bottom up for using the landscape approach. So that for me is uh, um, an incredible success and I want to thank uh, C4 and all the people who put this together because it's, uh, this tam tam is really, is really helping in, in moving the agenda. It makes a lot of sense and sometimes it makes more sense uh, at the local level because they understand it there. They understand that water is not uh, uh, coming because their uh, neighbor has uh, cut all the forest and uh, it's easier at the local level than at the national level. The landscape approach for me is that when you are looking at, when you are in rural areas, you don't look only at your little farm uh, plot, but you look at the forest that is on top of your farm, you look at the water that runs through the valley, you look at, at the uh, biodiversity that comes through your, the birds that are coming into your farms. And uh, you, you, need, you need to put these three, these three or four elements together. So the landscape approach is really how to connect, how to understand that if you cut the forest, you're going to have soil erosion in your farm. If you uh, don't manage, don't plant trees along your waters, you will end up not having water for irrigations. If you don't uh, uh, consider biodiversity, your uh, uh, coffee plants are not going to be pollinated by the uh, bees that are supposed to be there. So the landscape approach really puts all these things together for actually improving your livelihood. Everybody. And we need to start with some land use planning at the higher level. But the land use planning does not make sense if it is not, uh, in a way, uh, agreed also at the local level and by the farmers who agree to do what is in the plans. So it's really a mix of, of planning top down and the planning bottom up. I think that right now uh, we created a fantastic momentum. As I was telling you, I'm very happy. After uh, 20 years in this field where I worked both in agriculture, I work in environment, I work in the interface between the two, we are now, things are really coming together. And, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, we are not really uh, looking them at the sector in isolation, but it's together. What I think is the next step? we needed to get political attention. So these phones are fantastic as a sharing of knowledge and idea, but I think the next step is to get a declarations about the number of hectares that we all commit to put under uh, sustainable, resilient landscape management, and hopefully also recognize in these big conferences uh, the, of climate change that we can do a, a, an accounting of carbon at the landscape level.